take a look. <laughs> we'll tell you what's going on. We'll show you what's going on. Talk about passion and excitement. Scotty from Raleigh Street Station. Th thank you for having us back. Look, well, thank you for coming. Look at you. You are set. You're it not a little bit excited about uh, St. Patrick's Day? March. March. You gotta March be green. Madness. Green. Yeah, absolutely. I got the green skirt on. I got the memo. We are making, uh, appropriate for the Lenten season, a fish fry. A buffalo fish fry. Nobody you know. does it better. Well, everyone's got their own twist. True. Everyone's got their own twist. Uh, but this is Allie's idea. Allie said, let's do a fish fry. Okay, so let's do a fish fry now. We're going to start out with the all-important tartar sauce, the accompaniment. Correct. We're going to... This segment will start with a tartar sauce, and then we'll start we'll making coleslaw, and then we'll do the fish. So it's people are scared to make a tartar sauce. I just add ketchup to mustard or to uh, mayonnaise. You just make cocktail. You're okay. making cocktail sauce. Oh, is that what it well, was? Horseradish and ketchup. Okay, I meant. Never mind. <laughs> so. Do I look Irish? Real, real simple. Mayonnaise. Sugar. 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 Wow. Vinegar. So basically what you're making is a sweet and sour sauce. That's basically what it is. Salt and pepper and a little granulated garlic. All right? Yep. I'm with you. Chopped pickle. Dill or sweet, whatever you want. Okay. 30 now, seconds. a traditional tartar sauce has olives and capers. Oh, really? Well, buffalo, we're not used to that. No. So here, give that a taste. Really? Mm, Isn't that incredible? That? It's like sweet and sour. What is that? Is that what you just made up? We just made coleslaw. Oh, dressing. I love that. All right, well, that was simple. Let's go to, we're going to move on in our next segment to our next step before we get to the fish fry. And you did fry up some french fries earlier, and they were delicious. Correct. Okay. Um, we are going to take a break right now, head over to our newsroom and our web producer, Emily Lenahan. And How much it shook me up? How much? We made coleslaw dressing. See, even Scotty was a little shaken it up was. by this. So what we were making before with the mayonnaise and the uh, mayonnaise, vinegar, vinegar sugar, sugar, salt, pepper, granulated garlic. Granulated garlic. That was the coleslaw. Coleslaw thing. dressing, the we just best that. in the world. It truly is. I've been eating it, and here's my fork. So, so now we're going to make the tartar sauce. Now we're going to make the tartar sauce. Okay. So if we confuse everyone, they should have been next to that snake. Exactly. Okay. So it. traditional tartar sauce. Mayonnaise, pickles, dill or sweet, whatever you want, onions, green onions, lemon juice, capers, and olives. Okay. That's your traditional. We're just going to do buffalo. Mayonnaise. Little, little scallion. See, I never, never added the scallion. We got, dill, we got dill pickles, all right? And lemon juice. Fresh. Don't, don't use that green can. The what? That green bottle. Oh. That they, it says real lemon martini? juice. Yeah. <laughs> so, mix that up. You know, you want it chunkier, you can add more pickles. You want it thinner, you can add more mayonnaise. Gotcha. All right. A little salt and pepper. A little granulated garlic. And that's it for the tartar sauce. That's it for our tartar sauce. All right, now to that, for my kids, I would add a little ketchup in there. That's just my take on it. So now you got Russian dressing. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so my kids like it with Russian dressing. We're going to get started with the fish, too. We've got about 20 seconds left. What so, do we need to do to just prep for the fish? we got to make our batter. <gasps> the batter. Traditional bear batter. 100% bear. Not 50% bear, 50% water. We That's use, the key? We, we use straight bear at Riley Street. All right. We're running out of time right now. We're going to just leave it on that, the beer, on a high note. On a high note. And then Teach everyone to make the batter in the next segment. Yep, and then we're going to put the fish fry together, and then I'm going to taste it. Oh, we're having fish. Time flies when you're having fun. Right, Rob? Right, right, Rob. <laughs> Little Rob. Okay. No armadillos. <laughs> well, tomorrow. Tomorrow. All uh, right. Chef Scotty from the uh, Riley Street Station Inn. We're going to start making the batter, and the fish is already frying. It's shooting out. Okay. Let's so, get started. Fair batter. Real simple. Can I pull this out? Just so maybe we can hear you? How about yeah. that? How about that? All right. All right. Eggs. All-purpose flour. Bacon powder. Bacon powder? Is that to make it, like, poofy? Yeah. Bacon soda. That's to just 
be fair. They're both Lebanon agents. Gotcha. Little granulated garlic, little paprika for color. So, bind all that together. The easiest way how I teach people to make bear batter is you want the consistency of paint. Okay. How about that? That's a very uh -huh. good one. <laughs> I thought so, you were going to say one glass for me, one glass for the, uh, the bowl. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I always ask that's for rule number bear. two, Murphy's Law. So, bear as needed. Is this flat beer? Oh, uh, we. I poured it. Is it better it. to be flat? Doesn't matter. If you, the more bubbles you have, the more lighter and puffier your batter is going to be. Oh, okay. So fresh can. Okay, so we got a nice, see, nice color there. Yep. It's not paint though. It's a little too thin for paint, right? Correct. So, but you always could add. You can never take away. And what people don't do, what people do wrong. See now, that's almost paint consistency. A lot of what people do wrong is they don't flour their fish before they put it in the batter. Ooh, so it sticks to it? Correct. Very good. See how much we're learning on this show? I wouldn't have known show? this a year ago, truly. Okay, this is so what I learned on Winging Net. What we have here is a fresh piece of haddock. Okay. All-purpose flour. We're going to dust it. We're not going to pat it on. Okay, Just dust it. We're going to drop that in our batter while you're taking the fish out. Look how beautiful. See nice color, nice See what and I made? nice and light. Worked on all morning. Okay, it ain't gonna do nothing to you. Okay, so we're gonna drop it in the fryer. Now you're teasing it. You, you let it float. You don't just drop it in, otherwise it's gonna stick to the bottom. See it? It's nice and floating right now. All right. So I would have never thought I would have just dumped it in, get rid of it. Fish fry, right? Yep. Some homemade French fries. <gasps> Those are fantastic. Just seasoned with salt and pepper. Mm. A piece of fish. Coleslaw. Coleslaw. And look at that. A little tartar sauce. And voila. And we got a nice fish fry for Rob. <laughs> Rob, you like that? All right. This is maybe a little bit too big. Normally, on my own, I would, but I don't want people to think I'm a pig. Oh. Mm. Nice, white. How long do you leave it in there? You know, people say, when something floats, it's done in a fryer. I don't know what they're... <laughs> when it sinks, it's done? You got about six, seven minutes for a fish fry. Okay, that's the time we need. When we come back, we're going to do a very creative second fish helping. second helping. That's when we come back. Um, after Amelia then... We are making fish tacos for our second helping. Chef Scotty from uh, Riley Street Station. We're going to let you go ahead and do that. And I'm also going to give a little history lesson of uh, the Riley Street Station. We're just talking to Axel Neff, who is the son of the owners. They've been in business for 25 years in East Aurora. Yeah. And where's the location? Right on Riley Street. Right on Riley Street. Makes sense. Right when you pass... The uh, Viaduct, mm -hmm. right next to Time Warner Ice Rink. Yep. We're, we share the parking lot. And uh, you're open seven days a week because at least one of the owners, e either Axel or his mother, is there We're seven days a week? Correct. And you? We're Maybe. there. Yeah. <laughs> you're there. Okay. Let's start. You're t taking a regular tortilla? Because it, you're here and I don't want you to get all dirty, we're going to take a hard tortilla and cover it with a small tortilla. Oh my God, you're double dipping. All right. So. Dr. Atkins slice, just called. Slice cabbage. Not the coleslaw. Nope. R raw cabbage. That's our crunch. We would put jalapenos, but I know you don't like that much spice. I love spice. Do you like spice? That, you're mixing me up with the other Asian on the show. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> All right. We got a jalapeno for you. Okay. All right. Fried or broiled? Oh my gosh, that's right. pressure. All right, so we're going to put that baby on there. A little sour cream. Is this, do you, you have fish fries at Rally Street, obviously, Station. What about this? Is this something you offer too? No, this is just for you. Gosh, you're good to me. 
Fresh cilantro. Love cilantro. Right? Yep. And a squeeze of fresh lime. It's a little south of the border feel. Taste. Right. Now, see, now you're going to not make a mess. Now we're tookin', cooking. Look at that. All right, I'm just going to take it. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. That's fantastic. Isn't that I good? love the raw cabbage part. You don't add the. Oh, you got to have cauliflower. texture. You got to have texture. Scotty, once again, we love your outfit. Thank you. Thank you for having us. A bit of entertainment and a great dinner. And second helpings. And second Come helpings. Come back soon. Next holiday.